Hayfield Farm was a special place to grow up in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. Hi, my name is Mike Salmon, and I was in the first class to go from kindergarten at Hayfield Elementary all the way through the high school. During those years, we had a great neighborhood to form bonds that have lasted throughout our lives. My name is Doug Powell. Uh, I've lived in Hayfield Farms uh, with here at my parents' house. We they bought their house new in 1967, and I lived here until 1976. Uh, so I I started school here in the sixth grade and graduated from Hayfield High School in 1973. The first class to go all four years consecutively with the high school since it was brand new. Um, the, the thing I, I appreciated the most about living in Hayfield Farm was having moved from the city. Uh, this was really the country back then, and uh, the freedom that we had as kids growing up was something I would have never had the opportunity to have if I'd continued to live in the city. Uh, we roamed these streets. We watched these houses be built. Uh, we roamed through the floodplains. We swam in the gravel pits behind the high school. We we uh, rode dirt bikes um, through the neighborhood as well as through the gravel pits. I learned to drive on the streets of Hayfield Farm while they were still gravel roads in a 1953 Plymouth. Um, it was uh, an opportunity that uh, I really appreciate because it, we bonded so well with the other kids that were just moving into the neighborhood. Uh, so everybody was a fresh face. We made friends that I still have friends that I went to school with here that I talk to on a regular basis. Uh. Growing up in Hayfield, uh, fishing in the outdoors is, to me, that's where my love of the outdoors started. Uh, when we were children, we would go fishing at various locations throughout uh, the Alexandria area around Hayfield. And we were fortunate because uh, a lot of kids had interest in going fishing and we would go to places like the pits, the hole in the bridge, Mulligan's Pond. There was another pond behind uh, Lake Devereaux, I think it was called, or there. And you know, that's what we did for our spare time and free time. I mean, we would get up at the crack of dawn, meet up, go one place one day, go to another place the next day. Our parents were like, have fun. They would go to work and we, we would run the woods. And we had this connection of paths between neighborhoods and Fort Belvoir and all these various places, which gave us access to these fishing and trapping places uh, through a variety of bike trails. Street is the um, uh, New York Stock and Stock Exchange. And then if I look down that way, you can see the Brooklyn Bridge. But I wanted to say this is where I am today, but where I came from was Hayfield Farms, and uh, I couldn't be here now if it wasn't for living there and all that I learned. So I will continue inside. I grew up in Hayfield uh, for most of my life. My dad was in the military, so we moved around between Kansas and Virginia mostly. But uh, we ended up in Hayfield in winter of 1970 and then lived there uh, and moved out uh, after graduating from Hayfield High. But the the best part for me of living in Hayfield was um, it, back then there were dangerous things but they didn't seem so dangerous at the time uh, and I guess I sh I'm alluding to the sewers and the rain sewers we lived when we moved over to 7808 Hayfield Road the big rain sewer ran behind our house and you know my dad was working he was in the military uh, and our mother had passed away so we were on our own we did have housekeepers but 
Sometimes it would rain, those things would fill up, and being the natural, curious kids, uh, we'd always go in and not necessarily swim, but you know when you're a kid and you can swim in anything? Um, well, we did. Luckily, nobody ever got hurt. It was a dangerous situation, but uh, luckily no one ever got hurt. But it was a lot of fun. And uh, let's face it, crawling through the sewer systems when you're a kid is like being on an adventure. And Stephen King sure has made enough movies about that. So we did that too. Uh, they were scary, but nobody ever got hurt, thankfully. Uh, the year was 1967, and we lived up in Arlington, myself and three little children, and their dad was in Vietnam, and a very bad time to be in, Viet be in, excuse me, to be in Vietnam. He came home in February, right after the Tet Offensive, and we had made plans to have our first house and I had been looking all over Northern Virginia for a house that we thought we could afford. I think our budget was 25000 Ah, oh, don't we wish today. So I had no, uh, had not seen Hayfield. I'd seen it advertised in the paper and I just couldn't find anything. So one day I decided let me go down and see what this Hayfield's all about. So it was a rainy day and I drove down Telegraph Road and I got to where Old Telegraph Road cuts off, which is maybe a half a mile up the road toward Alexandria. And I decided, oh, this is way too far. This is way out in the boonies. It couldn't be down here. I must have passed it somewhere in the rain and couldn't see it. So I turned around and went home. And then when my husband finally got home, we decided to take a look down in Hayfield and see what there was. And we drove down and found it that time and uh, saw these beautiful houses, decided to spend a little bit more than we had, we thought we could afford, and bought this lovely four bedroom, split level house in Hayfield. Now, when we decided to move, we were uh, living at Mount Vernon, down in that area, Russell Road. And my brother, who lived at that time on the first house on the corner in Broadmoor, and uh, <clears throat> we came down to see where he had bought the house. And my wife, her first initial response was, I'd never lived down in those sticks. It was like way out in the country at that point in time. Uh, about four years later, uh, the opportunity arose and things developed up and down the Telegraph Road where we uh, came down and decided well, I guess we're going to live down in the sticks as well. And we've been here ever since. When we moved in to Hayfield, the only thing that was uh, open was from Helmsdale down to the Wexford cul-de-sac. And that was, um, that was all that there was. And then they were started building on the houses uh, on the cul-de-sac end of Asheville Road. And that was Section 2. Um, so we lived in this house, um, my brothers, three brothers, and my mother and my father. And one of the biggest things, the coolest things I remember about uh, this house was that my mother let my oldest brother paint one of the walls in his room completely black. And then he put all of these planets all over it in black light or uh, fluorescent um, paint and he had a huge Genesis uh, montage on the whole wall. It was just, it was really cool. I remember, I was little and I remember just kind of looking at my brother going, I can't believe mom let you do that. That, that was pretty neat. Hi, my name is Mary McLarenwood and I grew up in Hayfield. My family and I moved into the neighborhood uh, the summer of 1976. Um, we moved on to Kincardine Court and my parents, Bonnie and Bob McLaren, still live there. And they have been very active members in the community ever since. I think there are a lot of reasons why Hayfield was such a great community and still is a great community. I think one of the reasons is that it has an elementary school right in the neighborhood with a high school right across the street. Um, 
I think that it's pretty special because it has a pool and also has a park. Um, I think the people who grew up in Hayfield have very fond memories of it like I do and a lot of people come back to the neighborhood because um, you know they want to raise their kids in that environment. I think maybe that's one of the reasons why my brother has stayed in the neighborhood and why I haven't moved far away and one of the reasons why I teach at the elementary school now and have since uh, 1993. Um. Uh, they, they had a wonderful growing up in Hayfield. It's a wonderful community, and it was, it was uh, not. We were we were the the fifth section to be built here, so we were brand new. We came in brand new and uh, had all kinds of woods behind us and woods everywhere. They walked, they walked and played, and uh, they could actually walk to school from here, but. They were not permitted. They, uh, because there were no sidewalks at the time, it was just it was just a lot of uh, vegetation. And uh, number five was Fred. He was the first. His class was the first class for public kindergarten. Um, when he was five years old, uh, they started the kin kindergarten. He was two years behind Tim and Greg, and uh, his was the first. So he went through from kindergarten all the way through. He's the first one of, of, all, of, the, of all my children to have gone through uh, 12 years in the Hayfields, 13 years I guess that is with kindergarten also in the Hayfield system, yeah. And uh, then the next, the next couple did, three did also of course, but, um, but they made wonderful friends and uh, a lot of them lifelong friends. Um, the boys, the boys, Tim and Greg have, and and Fred actually, the three middle ones. They have they have such close close uh, f friendships with people that that are still living here. A lot of a lot of our uh, Hayfield residents are still living here in Hayfield or in the outlying communities. Um, heck, you know, four of my best friends uh, I went to, from kindergarten on and graduated with. Um, we've always stayed in touch. It's yeah, you know, just something we always have. You know, it's like uh, every time we see each other, it it never was that was that long, and uh, we still see each other. You know, at least three times a, a month. It's just good to be around. Yeah, I moved here in 1977, December, Christmas, 1977, from Lorton into this house where my parents uh, rented this house from 1977. Then just before I graduated high school in 1981, and it was cool. My bedroom was downstairs. Uh, my parents and my brother lived upstairs. There was a pool table downstairs and a big family rec room with a fireplace. Uh, many good times here. <laughs>